In order to get that back tail piece off, it's first necessary to remove the seat. Next, we'll take out these two forward screws holding the tailpiece down. But just to help me, I put a little shop towel down in case that screw tries to fall down in one of the cracks and I won't lose it. Now let's get this other side out. Next, we'll remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding the tailpiece on. Once you get the bolts out, it should just slide up at the front and then slide right back off. Now it looks like the bolts holding the rear of the tailpiece on is 5 and 3 eighths inches from center to center. So I'll etch a little line so that I know right where the center of the hole needs to be. Same thing on this side. It looks like an 8 millimeter. All right, let's see if we can get these puppies drilled. Okay, first one done. Let's see if we can get this next one. All right. Now when I line up the uh, existing mounting tailpiece bolt holes, I can see that I'm still just a little bit off. Okay, uh, as you can see now, hopefully I've got those uh, holes where they're elongated just a little bit. It also took the burrs off, and so now I'm going to do a little test fit. I've got the bolt stuck through the tailpiece, and we'll see. It looks like they're going to fit just fine. Now. But I'd like to go ahead and at least drill these other two. Now, it looks like these forwardmost uh, outside bolt holes could potentially interfere with uh, some of this... Uh, area underneath the mounting bracket so what I'm going to do is shift over to this inside now I went ahead and put a couple of nuts on these uh, mounting bracket bolts just to kind of hold it in place while I drill these two uh, inside forward most uh, bolt holes all right now just to get some nice size washers to put on the back side so that plastic won't pull through I'm going to go ahead and put an additional washer on top of here so that my lock washer won't kind of fall through the cracks on that larger washer. And then we'll go ahead and get this bolts tightened down and then we'll try and do a fit see how it's going to look. When I'm putting this tailpiece back into place you'll notice that there are a couple of little slots right here. And on the tailpiece itself there are a couple of little posts. And each one of those little posts has to slide up under those notches there. So let me see if I can get this into place. There we go. Get that screw back in there and that'll hold it on. Okay, I've got three washers stacked under the back end of this mounting bracket. So just kind of help uh, pick it up on the back end to hold it level. And I'll be using a uh, M8 by 1.25 by 40 millimeters in length. Alright, now we'll get these two rear bolts kind of snug down good. And that ought to be ready to receive the box. There we go. Line up the little pegs in the front. And we can get it to sit down in the back. Now I've got a place to put my helmet.